The Audi Q5 has been around for a few years now, but it's still one of the best compact luxury crossovers. And for 2014, it now has more variations than ever before. Most Q5s you'll find on a dealer lot will be like this one, the 2.0T that comes with a 220 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder. Now that might not sound like a lot, but you'd be surprised at how quick it is. There is, however, the 3.0T that has a 272 horsepower supercharged V6 and the SQ5 Sport model that boasts a 354 horsepower supercharged V6. Now, should you be more interested in fuel economy than speed, there's the Q5 Hybrid and the even more efficient diesel-powered Q5 TDI. It has more torque than the SQ5, but gets four miles per gallon better than the base engine. Now, all Q5s are all-wheel drive. Regardless of the engine or model, the Q5 is one of the best crossovers to drive. Its handling is responsive and the ride is comfortable whether you're running errands in suburbia or on a multi-state family road trip. Inside, you'll find Audi's typical top-notch materials and construction. Really, it doesn't get much better. The infotainment system is controlled by a system called MMI. With the optional navigation system, its control knob and surrounding buttons are conveniently located right where your hand falls on the center console. Without nav, they're on the dash, and they're less intuitive. Despite being a compact crossover, there's still plenty of room inside. The back seat reclines and slides, which is a rarity for luxury models. Folding those seats down yields only 57 cubic feet, though, making it smaller than most competitors. The government gives the Q5 a four-star overall crash rating, while the IIHS gave it the best rating of good. Though the Q5 is one of our top luxury crossover choices, you'd still be smart to check out the well-rounded and cheaper Acura RDX, the sporty and spacious BMW X3, and the family-friendly Volvo XC60. And for more information about the Audi Q5 and those competitors, go to edmunds.com.